What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. This weekend we're supposed to be working on the bike because Steve-O is definitely, definitely gonna be down. However, Ian, I've just had a phone call saying he's full of snot and bubbles and everything else. It's not a spectator sport and I don't want it so he can stay up there and I'll carry on with the lathe. Um, been doing, a, you know, just bits and pieces during the week. Um, days are coming, I only ever get like a couple of hours in here, so it's not moving as quick as I really want it to. But, doors and everything else is painted, painted the little covers and stuff, and shoved a switch on ready for the weekend. Um, thread cutting gearbox has all been painted badly, it has to be said. Um, but uh, the, the only masking tape, I've got masking tape and I've got duct tape. Neither are very good at getting a nice sharp edge so it all sort of leaches underneath. It's gonna get done properly at some point to this end here, but it's good enough to put back together and get going. Everything's all cleaned up and ready to go. Look at my lead screw. How good did that come up? Pleased with that. Um, so I'm gonna get this back together again, stick it on the lathe, because I've got somebody coming at the weekend and he's gonna give me hand with it. Right, well that didn't go to plan, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I pressed the record button when I wasn't really doing that much, so I've got a whole load of footage of nothing. And when I got to the bit I wanted to show you, I stopped it. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Um, so yeah, you've missed it all going back together again. And it was a bit of a faff. Well, it's dead easy, there's not many bits to it at all and they can only really go in one place. So that's easy enough. Um, it all works, it all spins, lead screws all hooked up, everything is just doused in oil. Um, as I was putting stuff back together again, covered it in three in one. So it is literally dripping out the bottom here, but that's fine, I'm never gonna apologize for covering stuff in oil, I'm happy with that. Um, it is covered with these little, it's like a sprung loaded ball bearing that you stick your oil can in, push the ball bearing back and then you can give it a squirt of oil and it kind of gets into all the shafts and the gears and everything else. Um, a lot of them are horizontal though, whereas I, I would have thought it'd been better to have them going down, but um, you know, it is what it is. So this is going to sit here dripping for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as I start using it, this is going to be covered in oil anyway. So I don't really care. It's going to get mucky, isn't it? Um, I am quite upset about these plates. Well, not upset. I'm cheesed off about these plates that I can't get some new ones. You know, with all the thread cutting stuff and blah, 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 blah. Um, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look around locally, see if there's um, somewhere that does engraving. Because what I'm thinking is I could do something, get the size of it, I could do something similar, do it up in like, I don't know, Adobe Illustrator or something like that. Um, get some nice bits of stainless or whatever, and I'll see if I can get it all engraved. Um, and if they can engrave it quite deep, then the whole thing could just get painted and then I can dress the top off on, you know, a flat surface in a DA pad or something like that and make it look quite nice. But I do wanna, cause these have got paint splodges and stuff all over it. Oh, got to run there, look. Um, but these have got paint splodges and stuff all over and I can't just clean them up cause it's just gonna wipe it off. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens on that one. Right, what's next? Oh yeah, Saturday. Right, so, Saturday, as you know, Steve-O's not coming down because he's all snot and bubbles and stuff. Um, so I've been having a chat with my mate, Matt. 
Matthew Marshall Price, as the bailiff likes to call him. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is um, he's the fixer of broken things at work that I might have mentioned before. Um, it's, well, he's not out work anymore. He's got himself a spanky job someplace else, earning even more money. Um, but he's he's like one of the maintenance crew, so he goes around fixing all the, you know, the hydraulic presses and God knows. He just fixes everything basically. Um, but he served in the Royal Navy as a, a um, an engineer, and he quite likes all this sort of stuff. So he's going to come down and wire it up for me. We got the motor, we got the switch. I've got a contactor and I've got some shielded, um, you know, like armoured cable and all that kind of stuff. I do need to um, make up a little plate for the front and I definitely need to make a plate for the motor to sit on. Because um, that way, if he can get it all wired up and sorted and everything else, potentially we can hit the go button and make it all spin. I ain't going to be able to make anything, but it will go round. So he's coming on Saturday and we'll see if we can get the thing fired up. That'll be alright. Right, so this is the motor that I've got. Uh, it came with it. It is a new one. Although it is kind of grubby and a bit dusty and stuff because it's been sitting in a workshop that is full of flaming sawdust. So I'm going to blow it all out anyway. Um, yeah, so it's a new motor. I've also, where is it? Also got this contactor. Not a new one, you can tell that because it's got wires hanging off of it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the switch is already on there it's literally just on the face plate just screwed and mounted that's it um, I don't know where he's going to stick all this but he'll figure it out what I need to do is to make a plate um, that this can bolt to and then the whole thing can bolt onto the the motor mount in the left hand cupboard um, basically this whole pattern isn't the same as the one that's on the lathe um, it's just like a generic motor that will do the job basically. Um, we've got the belt and blah blah blah, so we should be all good there. We just need to sort of get it all sorted. Right, let's give that pulley a bit of a clean actually, because that looks grubby. We're going freestyle for this bit. <laughs> okay, there's the motor. That's the old it's got to live in. Um, so, what we've got is. Um, this pulley basically goes onto the drive shaft here and you can see there's a big slot in it so grub screw locates it in place on there and I can have it that way or I can have it that way and I can also move it in and out and just lock it down into that slot with that grub screw so that gives me left to right movement and basically I just need to get it lined up with this pulley here so that's not so bad um, get it in the ballpark and we can fine tune it just to make sure that belts and stuff like that don't jump however those four holes there are completely in the wrong place. <laughs> um, can you see? I want to shove you in. Can you see now? So there's those four slotted holes. Ooh, get my finger out of the way. Four slotted holes. Uh, that's where it needs to mount to. Uh, and once it's on there, basically we can slide the whole thing forwards or backwards to take up tension on the belt um, and get it all in the right place. So basically, I'll just need to make that fit there using that. <laughs> this is a piece of 8mm plate. Um, so not entirely sure how I'm going to do it yet. But basically, I'm thinking mark out some holes on here where the, the motor, you know, the, these holes on the motor go. I can drill them, tap them. I can even do it so it's just like a stud so um but we'll figure that out so that'll get mounted to this and then i've also got to drill some more holes in that's going to marry up with those holes at the back there so bolts can go through and then i can slide the whole thing forwards and backwards that's the idea anyway so that's the next big bit and i really want to get this bit done because when matt turns up on saturday we could get it going I might even have to finish it on Saturday because I'm running painfully short of time. So um, that's the next bit anyway. Right then, a little bit of cardboard daily design. 
I think we're in. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a quick tidy up. And then we can see how this fits. Right, so we've just had the, the pulley assembly out. These are the fixing points that give us sort of adjustment that way. So we're gonna have a bolt that winds in the other side. I'll drill and tap this. He can sit on like that. Something like that. So that covers all the guides. This is the drive belt. So we'll go on that pulley there. And the motor is probably gonna mount down the front here somewhere, but essentially, that belt goes around that pulley um, and he's going to want to mount about there, something like that. And then I can adjust the pulley in and out to line these two. I'll just put a flat edge across, you know, all four edges sort of thing. So it's absolutely in line and we're in. So I think the first thing probably to do is figure out where those holes need to go. Uh, are we covered? Yes we are. plates in the vise. That's all had its holes drilled and tapped and everything else. Um, so it's had a coat of H primer and stuff as well so that's drying up and then I can get all that fitted and shoved back in the hole ready for Matt. Um, it's Saturday I am expecting him but I'm not sure when he's coming. So I figure we might as well start stripping all this down. Get all this clean. I'm looking forward to pulling that apart. Let's start simple way. Eh? Right, so this is a cross slide. Just full of grot basically, isn't it? Um, got Gibbs in there. Okay. Let's um, start pulling all this apart and see what we can do with it.
Believe it or not, this is about as stripped down as I'm going to get it. Purely because of this stupid thing here. This is the uh, the pickup for the um, power cross feed. Basically, this is a clutch. As you tighten the clutch up, um, it hooks up, you know, on on this this um, thread here, and you get your power cross feed. However, this is hollow, apart from a keyway here and it's all pinned. And this collar is obviously wider than that bit and I can't get this bit out. And it is proven to be a bloody nightmare because unless I can get this out, I can't get the rest of the clutch out. I can't get that gear off, not without driving the all way out, which I don't really want to do. I can't get the gear in the back out. I can't get this one off because it hits on the housing. <laughs> and I can't get this gear out with the shaft either. This is about as stripped down as I'm going to get it, I think. But there you go, this whole thing is just going to go in the parts washer as is. And it's going to spend ages in there for a couple of reasons. Um, but I need to make sure everything is dead clean. Um, I wanted to show you how simple some of this stuff is. As far as oiling all this goes, um, this tube here is an oil pipe. So basically you squirt oil in, comes out here and it just drips down. This mechanism sits in there on the shaft. Uh, and this is your power feed. So in the off position, you know, with the handle up, um, the, the, there's another one at the bottom which goes down and they're not on the lead screw. But as you throw the lever, these move down, engage on the lead screw and that's how you get your powered feed. So as you squirt oil in here, it drips into this channel and it is so simple because in the off position, all runs this way through a hole and it alls the, the union between the pin and this, this clamp. And when you engage the lead screw, it goes down. This has got a taper to it, so it all flows down. It goes through this hole, which I'm trying to unblock, which comes out there, and it alls the lead screw. How simple is that? Nothing to go wrong, apart from stuff getting bunged up with crud and sawdust, which I'm still pulling out of it. <laughs> but anyway, this is all going to go through the um, evapor rust in the um, oh here we go in in the ultrasonic, and I'll show you why. I'm sorry about noisy boy with the generator. <laughs> you could probably hear it in the background. Anyway, I've had the um, the cross slide in here. Basically, I was having some troubles getting stuff off. This was blue, and it's been in here for about 20 minutes. And that's how it's come up there. <laughs> All the blue is just, oh, see, now I'm done. You turn the damn thing off. Um, but yeah, all the blue paint's come off. And I must admit, I'm quite liking just the raw metal. <laughs> so all this top bit, the apron and everything that sits on top of it, I'm thinking might just stay bare metal. It's all going to get oiled and stuff anyway. So nothing's going to happen to it, but I'm quite liking that. I just need to get the rest of the blue off and we're in. But this is all cleaning up a treat. Um, works really smoothly. There's, the, yeah, there's no great shakes about it. It's just a thread on two, two big old bits of metal and that's it basically in the gibbs in here. So I'm going to scrape all the rest of this blue off and I'll see what it looks like because I'm thinking I could do that and I could save myself a bunch of time and it's going to be oiled like religiously anyway so it's not like it's going to rust is it but i am quite liking that this evapor rust stuff is really good but i have just ordered more because this is now mucky as hell it is still working as you can see but i think i am going to change it and get some fresh <laughs>
rinse out the, the parts washer, the half nuts came up lovely. Very, really cool. Both those little holes were unbunged. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing. So I'm just going to shove all this lot back in here, shove a load of oil in it. All the clutch bits came up nice as well. There's no real marks or anything on it. Um, clutch pin looks fine. Yeah, you know, it's all good, it's all good. One thing I am thinking though, Oh, I am seriously thinking about it, is just not painting this bit. I like the sort of, what do I, can you see that? I just like the bare metal look. You know, I mean, it's gonna get, it's a machine, it's gonna get chipped and dinked and all sorts of stuff. It's gonna get covered in oil and blah, blah, blah. Painting it a really light gray probably wasn't my clever idea. Um, but yeah, I'm quite liking it. So I'm, I'm thinking for the saddle and the cross slide and tool post and all that center bit, just leaving it bare metal. And I'll do the headstock, I'll paint the headstock and the covers and all that. But I don't know, I am tempted. Where's my oil gone? Um, hand controls and stuff. See, that's all rusty. I have got some more evapor rust coming because um, that is grubby as hell. And because I've had it heated, it's sort of evaporating too. So I've got some more of that coming. Um, which I'm gonna need because this thing, you know, the cross slide assembly, I don't think that is gonna go in. I'm pretty sure it ain't. No, that ain't going in. <laughs> so we're gonna need to think up something different for that. Um, a bit of fun, just get rid of all the blue paint and stuff, clean it down to bare metal, give it a spritz and a polish up. Well, not even that really, I'll just scotch bright it or something then we should be in, I think. I reckon it's gonna look quite cool. Even if I just paint the handles, I don't know, something like that anyway. If you've got an opinion, let me know. And if it's, yeah, don't bother with all the, the paint in malarkey and blah, blah, blah. I'll be quite happy with that because that will save me a truckload of time. <laughs> Are we plugged in and we on? Yes. Right, that's it. End done too bad today. I don't think, anyway. Um, all the motor plate and everything else is done. That's all back in. It's all set up and adjusted. All the pulleys line up. So we're good to go there. I was half expecting Matt today, uh, but he didn't show up, same as Steve-o. So he's not wired in. But I will hook up with him at some point. We'll get all that done. All the um, saddle assembly, it's all stripped down, as you've seen, it's going through. And I am, I must admit, I am really liking the idea of leaving the saddle and everything that sits on it, just in bare metal. It's gonna get covered in oil anyway, so I, I really don't see what the problem is. Um, but all my bits and stuff is all cleaned up and oiled and just waiting to go back together again, really. Got some more evapor rust coming, uh, which I'm gonna to need to sort that out. It's probably gonna end up getting heated and then dunked in a bucket and left overnight, if I'm honest. Um, but it does seem to get rid of the paint, which is really, really good. And it leaves a lovely finish underneath. So you just oil it up and away you go. Um, and that whole center section is, I mean, that's where most of the oil feeds and star stuff are anyway. So it's, it's just gonna end up getting covered, whatever. Um, but it would just save me a load of time not having to paint it all. <laughs> far as Steve-O goes, so far I've tried asking, I've tried insisting, I've tried begging, I've tried telling and he still ain't here. So, you know them where's Steve-O shirts? I'll shove a picture up somewhere up here and a link and what have you so you can see what I'm on about. I'm gonna wear one of them every episode until he shows up. I'm gonna try shaming him into doing it. <laughs> Truth be told, the amount of time I've got left on this, I've probably got two more weeks of just doing late and getting the whole thing put back together so it's all sorted and ready to go. Um, so he's got two weeks to show up. And if he doesn't show up, then we're gonna try threats. Because if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna set the bike up for me. <laughs> and he can just live with it. <laughs> he needs to be here for us to crack on with that. And I do wanna get back on the bike. Um, this is taking way longer than I thought it would, but I just haven't had time to put into it basically. So. You know, it is what it is, but she is turning out rather lovely, it has to be said. So anyway, that's where I'm leaving it this week. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Do hope you're all staying safe, and we'll see you again soon. Laters! <laughs>